Hi guys. Well, we're now at, in summer vacation and the uh, world's kind of still fairly shut down with this corona thing. It's starting up a little bit. But I thought I'd do a series that's historic. Um, it's also going to have, I mean, it's going to have political things. It's going to have religious things. So if that's not your thing, then feel free to unsubscribe or whatever. But I um, hope you all stick with me and um, hopefully get some new people interested this summer or whatever. But today I want to tell a little story about a Civil War story about the Battle Hymn of the Republic. In November of 1861, um, there was a poet named Julia Ward Howe who visited the Union Army camps and got to meet Abraham Lincoln. While she was there, someone suggested, since you're a poet, why don't you rewrite words to a popular tune at that time called John Brown's Body. John Brown was a abolitionist, so he didn't, uh, he wanted to free slaves, wanted to end slavery, and he went to Harper's Ferry with um, some men, attacked the arsenal there, and they ended up hanging him, they caught him and hang him. So she rewrote uh, a po she wrote a poem, and they put it to the exact same tune as John Brown's Body. If you look on YouTube for John Brown's Body and Battle Hymn of the Republic, they have the same tune. Um, so she she wrote the Battle Hymn of the Republic. It became the best known Civil War song uh, for the Union Army, and it was also a well loved American patriotic anthem. So I'm just going to read it here for you. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. I have seen him in the watchfires of a hundred circling camps. They have built at him an altar in the evening dews and damps. I can read his righteous sentence by the dim and flaring lamps. His day is marching on. I have read a fiery gospel writ in burnished rows of steel. As you deal with my contem contemners, so with you my grace shall deal. Let the hero, born of woman, crush the serpent with his heel, since God is marching on. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never call retreat. He is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. O oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant, my feet. Our God is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free while God is marching on. It was really hard not to <laughs> try to sing that while I was reading it, but that became the, the most popular song in the army camps. Of the Union they'd sing that and that was their anthem it's been a patriotic anthem ever since uh, 1861 so I hope you'll join me for the next episode thanks guys bye